Hello everyone here, Edward, and this is Migo 1.0 running on an Asus EEPC. So this is going to be a quick overview on Migo. So let's start. So this is like home. It's called My Zone, and it's where you have everything. Here we have appointments, tasks, four shortcuts. We have Chromium, Help, Mail, and that's Media Player. And here we have like your content. This is like Twitter. Here is a tab I closed recently. That's a quick pick from Phone Arena, who just tried Migo 2. And yeah, that's pretty cool because it changes and it's pretty cool. You have your content right there. So, next on the uh, tab, we have Zones. This is like multitasking. I don't have any apps running at the moment, but when I have apps running, it will show here, like, you know, my English title. Here we have Applications. And here we have accessories, we have file browser, calculator, editor, I guess that's like a cheap word or something. Yeah it is. So it's like a very basic word. Kinda cool. And yeah, here's how it works. You slide your mouse there and the bar appears and you can go back to applications. Oh, that's the multitasking I was talking about. It's like Migo, like my most type, as you can see. So let's go back to applications. We were in accessories and settings. Let's check what the settings does this have. So we have wallpaper and fonts. So you can change your wallpaper and you can change your font. Pretty cool. Then toolbar settings. You can like change what you have here. Pretty cool. Look, wow, that's pretty cool. You can like drag and drop things. Pretty cool. Let's see what else. We have my sound, language, email settings, date and time. And on this one, oh, that's personal. And this is hardware. You have trackpad and mouse, so that's like sensitivity and acceleration. You have printing, display. So it's display and projector. So it actually supports an external display like my Nokia Pocket 2 you were there, connected via HD to a uh, huge monitor. Really cool. So this supports an external display. I kind of didn't expect that. And here you can select the resolution. Pretty cool. So next we have keyboard, brightness, and sound. So this is like the control panel of Migo. It's like the settings. Now let's go to applications. Next we have games. There's five games here. Then we have internet, we have Chromium web browser, it's like Chrome. I don't know why it's named Chromium, but it's just like Chrome. Next we have sync. And it's pretty cool because you can like sync with Google, for example, and it will sync your contacts, your tasks, everything. Let's go back to apps. Next we have mail. It's taking a bit to open. As you can see, it's loading. And that's my email client. Pretty cool. Now let's go back to applications. Next we have Messenger. Wait, I closed it. Applications, Messenger. And that's my Facebook uh, Messenger. You can set up like pretty much every service available. You can set up like Messenger, Jabber, Yahoo, Google Talk, everything. So let's continue seeing here. Messenger, Sync. Now we have Media, Image Viewer, Media Player, Webcam. Here on Office we have Calendar, Contacts, and Tasks. And System Tools we have Terminal, Update, Desk Utility, well, more tech stuff. So next on the bar we have Status. So that's Twitter or Last.fm. There's just two services that you can set up, and I don't have Last.fm, so I here's Twitter. Pretty cool. You can add here any web account. Yeah, and as I said, there's only Twitter and Last.fm. So let's close this. And we'll go to status again. 
So yeah, so I guess that if you want to reply, you will like that. And yeah, you reply to the box. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now let's go to people over there. So that's my people on Facebook. Pretty cool. I can chat with them. Next we have internet. So I wanted to show you a YouTube video here to see if it plays HD or at least it plays smoothly. So that opened pretty quickly and earlier this year we wait. released T shirt war, a stop motion video that went viral. Uh, we don't use the term viral anymore. Oh yeah, sorry. So yeah, close that one. And it's actually lagging a little bit. Let's go back here to internet. Let's go to YouTube. So that didn't that didn't take a long time to load. And scrolling is pretty smooth. And now let's just open any video. This one for example. So it's really like Earlier this year we released T shirt war, a stop motion video that went viral. Uh, we don't use the term viral anymore. Oh okay. Now let's try H D to see how Earlier this goes. year we released T shirt war, a stop motion video that went viral. Uh, we don't use the term viral anymore. Well yeah, it didn't play that smooth. Actually it didn't work at all. And I'm pretty sure that's because of the processor rather than Migo. So next we have media, and yeah, this is basic uh, media player. Those are songs that Miko brought. I don't have any music on this computer yet. Next we have devices, and this shows you like volume, memory you're using, and your battery, and like a file browser. Yeah, like a file browser, file system. Pretty cool. Now we have Bluetooth to like connect with a device or something. Next we have um, wireless, and we have here time and date. So that's basically Migo. As I said on Twitter, it's like a huge smartphone, but more powerful. So it's pretty cool, Migo. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but well, looks cool. So I'll keep the update updated. Thanks for watching.